All right, so in this video, you're going to learn how to use functions. You're going to learn about functions. Well, what's the difference between a formula, a formula, and a function? Um, here, under formulas, we actually have the function library. So, you know, traditionally the way, and a lot of people blur the line between the words, using the words formula, function. But uh, to be specific, a formula is anything you've written yourself. A formula is anything you've written yourself. A function is going to be pre-written formulas, okay? So functions are formulas that have already been written. And so one, uh, and here you have all kinds of different functions and more functions for statistics, engineering, math, date and time text, logical, financial, right? Or you've got this here, which has, you know, commonly used ones, which you could also find over here. Or you have this, which lists just all of them in one place where you could choose category once again or see them all at once listed alphabetically and you can look through them. All right. So, uh, you know, let's just use a really basic function. We'll use sum. We're going to use the sum function. So I click sum and now it asks me, what do you want to add up? And it automatically selected all the numbers right above it. And it, it shows me that it, those are selected both by highlighting it and also by showing me G4 colon G8. G4 colon G8. That's a way to make a reference for an entire range. So if we're going to reference a single cell, if we we're going to reference a single cell, we would just do equals like that. And now I'm referencing cell G5. But when we're referencing a range, when we're referencing a range, it's G4 colon G8. And that means add up everything starting in G4 down to G8. And if I was to reference a range that wasn't just vertical in one column, like if I referenced this range, G4 colon L8. It means from here, G4, all the way down to here, L8. And so that's how you, that's the notation for selecting a range of cells like that. I'm going to do a sum function right here. I don't want to select everything up above. I just want these two. So G7 colon G8. So those two numbers will be summed up. Hit enter, and it added those two numbers up for me. I could control C that and bring it over and control V and then paste it. And, uh, and relative and absolute references are exactly the same with functions. So if there's no dollar signs, it's a relative reference. So as I copy it over, relative to where this function is, it adds up the two cells right above it. Um, and uh, and if uh, and if there is an absolute reference, there would be dollar signs in front of the column and the row reference, like this one. So relative and absolute references work also with functions. Why 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 would you want to use a function? Well, in this instance, it really doesn't save us a whole lot of time because we're only adding up two two cells. But imagine if we had uh, right, you know, these numbers here, and we wanted to add up all of that to see what that ad added up to. Well, that would be really cumbersome to be like equals this one plus this one plus this one plus. Like that's going to take a while, right? So the easier way to do that is just come over here and choose sum, add it up. Yep, I want to add up all of those, P4 through P27. It's all highlighted. That's why I want to add up. Press enter. 324 is my answer, right? So the functions help us a lot with that kind of stuff. And then the functions help us when we get into more difficult mathematics. Like let's say we want to calculate the payment on a loan, right? And then here are the function arguments for calculating the payment on a loan. So payment, number of periods, present value, future value. So payment, periods, present value, future value. So if I want to calculate the payment, and I know my loan is, uh, you know, 30 years or 360 months, right? 30 years is 30 times 12, 360 months. And uh, the present value of the loan is 100, 1, 2, 3. $100,000, and let me right-click that, format cells, currency, dollars, there we go, $100,000. And the future value of the loan will be zero, because it will be paid off. So, uh, give, and then the rate, what is the rate? The rate will be, and let me right-click this, format cells, percentage, two decimal places. And let's say I get a rate of 4.25% on my loan. What is my payment going to be? So I could go up here to financial, scroll down to payment and uh, what is the rate well the rate is going to be 4.25 percent but that's per year so let me divide it by 12 to get month the number of periods will be 360 months the present value is that but since it's a loan i got to put a negative sign in front of it meaning i borrowed that money the future value of the loan will be zero i hit okay 
my payment's $491 a month. If I borrowed $300,000, right, it's $1,475 a month. What if I buy a $500,000 house? How much do I have to pay a month? And I have that type of an interest rate. I need to pay $2,459.70 a month for a half a million dollar house. And you can see how that amortizes. In the Udemy training, I actually show you how to amortize this and figure out how much is going to interest and uh, how much goes towards principal and all of that in the Udemy training on Excel. So you can go check that out on uh, Udemy. But that's a little bit about using functions, 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 functions. And, uh, and they're good to know about. They are good to know about.